An icon in the motoring industry and one that has been around since 1966, the Toyota Corolla isn't in need of a lengthy introduction. The go-to car for small families, the Corolla has built a reputation for being practical and affordable. But unfortunately, and like most celebrities, it seems to have forgotten its USPs in its rise to fame. Arguably the best looking and most modern Corolla to date, this 11th generation model flaunts a smart exterior with LED headlamps and daytime running lights, 16-inch alloy wheels and well-defined creases along its bodywork. This sport variant adds an extra dose of aggression with a front splitter, side sills and a prominent rear diffuser. Function over form, the cabin of the 2018 Toyota Corolla is spacious but rather bland in terms of uniqueness when compared to its Korean rivals. Dated technology is combined with a utilitarian design, cloth seats and no rear AC vents or USB charging ports. The only saving grace then comes in the form of boot space with the Corolla offering more than most of its rivals at 470 litres bar the Renault Megane. Sailing on its former glory, the Toyota Corolla Sport fails to offer much in the way of features for its highly unjustified 100,000 dirham price tag. Despite lacking leather seats, a sunroof, automatic AC and automatic headlamps, features that one would tend to expect in that sort of price range, it does come equipped with push-button ignition, cruise control, reverse camera and reverse sensors. Despite the badge on the back reading Sport, Toyota hasn't made any changes to the engine or the transmission. This Sport variant is equipped with the same 2.0-litre four-cylinder petrol engine found in other variants of the Toyota Corolla, making it good for 143 horsepower and 187 newton meters of torque, which it pushes through a CVT transmission to the front wheels. At highway speeds, the Toyota Corolla is extremely stable. And that's worth highlighting, for most of its rivals tend to sway from side to side when larger vehicles zoom by. Averaging just 9 kilometers per litre though, the 2.0-litre Toyota Corolla isn't as fuel efficient as it's claimed to be, with the brochure reading a much more optimistic 16.5 kilometers per litre. At 100,000 dirhams, the Toyota Corolla is difficult to accept. Should you go out and buy a Honda Civic? No. A Hyundai Elantra? No. A Renault Megane? Also no. What you should do is go ahead and buy a fully loaded 2.5 litre Toyota Camry. You'll get a bigger car, more power, more features and because it only costs 99,900, guess what? You'll also save a hundred dirhams. Thanks for watching.